What's up, guys? Sean, Les the Liver Dummies. So my Nova Fury um, developed a slight leak from the rear end. Uh, if you were watching the videos, I talked about it. And uh, I'm my own worst enemy. You know, <clears throat> I always say when you get a leak, use soap and water. Well, I didn't use soap and water and what I was doing was using my hand and squeezing like this around my tank and I could every time I did this I could hear the pitch change. I changed the o-rings on the tank. I tried bigger o-rings. Then I thought maybe I had a burr inside here. Then finally I busted out the soap and water. I soaked this charge port. I soaked the gauge. I had a tank screwed in obviously while I was doing this. I soaked all around here. <sighs> and then I decided, well, I'm gonna soak this Allen head right here. So I did and nothing happened. And then I soaked it some more. And what started to happen was it was actually bubbling out between the upper and the lower receiver here. So kind of like right I got anything pokey to point with? Right there. Um, I have not taken this launcher apart further than just disassembling this front tube and the latch mechanism. So, um, according to Nova Paintball, this accepts standard Imperial uh, O-rings. And I have it set right here. Do I have the right one? Who knows? And I have no idea what I'm doing, taking this apart. So uh, there may be some silence, some fast forwarding. You get the picture. First thing I'm gonna do is just try and separate this lower receiver from the upper. Looking at it, I see a button head right inside there. So you go through this hole right here and then you have this rear one. Um, there, This grip may be part of the securement. So I'm gonna remove the grip uh, during this as well. Those are the only screws I see at this point. It is a 530 seconds. So obviously the marker is not charged. Oh, there's thread tape on that. I wonder if that's what was leaking. It might be that simple. It might be that simple. Unusual that it has thread tape. That means it's doing some sort of sealing. Give me a sec. Let's, uh, I'll clean this off good. All right, so I got all the tape off. <clears throat> it might be just as simple. I know you guys want to see this thing get torn right down, but, um, uh-oh. Not quite at that point yet. It is working so good at this point. Um, I haven't adjusted the PRV or anything along those lines and it hits like a freight train. Um, oh, and <clears throat> what well, I got you guys here. Special thanks goes out to uh, Trace, who we communicate through email. And he reached out to <clears throat> Nova Paintball, which I probably should have done much sooner. Um, and what he found is actually, so the 450 PSI pressure that I keep tossing around, it is recommended output pressure. What he got straight from the horse's mouth is, you can screw any tank in the back, you know, up to 1100 without an on off. This is your on off. Um, yes, you're gonna have this little bit of charged area for your tank, kind of like a gog on off, but it is safe to screw the bottle in and leave it uncharged. Now, this button is easily depressed, so be mindful of that. Well, you saw me, there a little extra tape on there. Drop it back in there.
suspiciously, this was the area that was uh, air was coming out. I put a little torque on it. And grab a bottle here. Lots of air. Pardon me while I listen. Oh gosh darn it, it's quiet. So this screw needs to be sealed. Now, a more permanent solution may be like a, a thread, actual uh, thread sealant. This is, believe it or not guys, this isn't thread sealant, it's thread lubricant. Um, it's meant to work in conjunction with tapered thread, but in this case, she's dead silent now. Well, that is it for this video. They're never that good. Um, one other thing to note, you can notice I changed from the O-ring that was on here. Um, O-ring was maybe a little too stretched out. So when, every time I was closing this, it was actually slowly chipping away at the O-ring and uh, it just failed, it fell off. So wife's hair elastic to the rescue, uh, much more resilient to getting pinched in here now. It's probably, a, of course, a better solution, but that works great. All right, you guys thought that was all. Well, seeing as that was such an easy fix, we're gonna switch the grip out here. See if a standard AR grip will fit. Uses apparently the same 5.30 seconds, uh, nope. 316s. Oh, she's tight. Oh, she's really tight. Please stand by. Get a little leverage on this guy here. Oops. Okay, looks like a standard uh, AR type grip. I'm gonna reuse the socket head and the screw. Let's just double check it fits this. Um, I got a Magpul K2 sitting here. Yeah, it fits. Make sure it's gonna look the part first. It doesn't look too bad, but I don't think it fits quite how I want it to. Hmm. Hmm. See the alignments a little bit. I mean, there it looks okay, but there. Well. It will accept this grip. I'm not gonna use this grip. I'll just toss on the factory one for now. Yeah. And for the show, 12 gram CO2, um, they don't say anything about not using CO2, but, uh, these are just Buna probably 70 O-rings in here. So they probably wouldn't survive very long if you kept hammering it with CO2, but I'm just curious how much, uh, how many shots I can get from one 12 gram. Um, I'm guessing one, <laughs> but we are going to try anyways, put a little drop of Oil in there. Add my hand in. CO2. Just like that.
without tape on these are 25 grams. Oop. Let's see what it'll do. All right, so this is one shot, one kill. <laughs> um, so by charge the CO2, it's not going to charge the launcher until I depress this button and only God knows what'll happen after that. So it's in safe. Good news, the thread tape in that screw there is not leaking. Let's charge this together and see what happens. I'm still holding it. So charge just above, it's probably gonna creep to about 450 there. <clears throat> I'm expecting smoke from this guy. I don't have a shoulder rest to put this on. I'm kind of actually a little bit nervous because this thing really wants to kick. So I'm just gonna put a little pinner up there. Oh, it would fire. Oh crap. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Let's see how many shots I can get. I'm guessing that 12 gram probably just charged it once, but we'll try it again anyways. Oh, so I got a leak. Sounds like the screw again. It sure is. Well, let's fire it off. Probably shouldn't use CO2. Gonna have to retape that. 406 though, I think that's the new high. Good news. It's not leaking with HPA, so stick to HPA, like I said. <laughs>